Tape returning operation on a lathe, part two, example. Students asked me if I could do an example of doing repetitive cuts so they could see a little bit better. So this video is a supplementary video to the first video. So please watch video number one or tape returning operations on a lathe before you watch this video. So we are going to do the first cut of a taper. I already have this piece machined to the large size of my taper requirements, which is the number four Morris taper. I have the telescopic taper attachment engaged, bolted down. I have my telescopic taper attachment set. So what I'm going to do is move forward until both are moving. They're both moving. So now I know that I'm engaged and my taper is engaged. I'm going to come. During the taper turning operation, do not move the cross slide, only the compound. I'm going to do my first cut as a light set. I'm going to touch a small amount. Touch a small amount, go back. Then I'm going to go beyond. Now, show the dials here. They're both turning. So now I'm gonna use power feed. And that was my first cut. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna go backwards again, all the way. Go forward again, take a look, they're both turning. See how they're both turning? Now take, keep your eye here. Now I'm gonna use, back up a small amount, I'm gonna use the compound rest as my in feed. And I'm going to move in a couple of thou. Power feed again, do my next cut. It runs out, I stop, I go all the way back. I go forward again. Now you see how they're both moving? I make sure they're always both moving. I can stop at any time. Now I'm going to use my, use my compound rest. A couple of thou. Power feed in. My feed's a little bit aggressive, so I won't get as good a finish as I might. I stop it. I move back again. Feed in. I make sure they're both moving. I move my compound rest in a small amount. Power feed. I continuously do this until this black line only has a small amount left. And then I know that I'm at the size of the top of my taper. Hopefully this example helped clear up any questions you may have. But if you still have some questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Also, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Well, have a good night and thank you for watching.